Hi there, Safe Food community. My name is Nathan B. Today's video is all about Mac OS, so Macintosh operating system from Apple. So if you want to run your full node or light node with Mac OS, then this video is for you, but it's going to cost you. So just before we get started, uh, I get a lot of questions about um, Mac OS and that, you know, I run my personal computer as Mac OS, so that means I need to run my full or light node um, with Mac OS in the cloud. And that's just not true. Um, you can run from your home or business, Windows or Mac or any other operating system and deploy, let's say, Linux um, in the cloud to run your CFUX node. So your personal computer is really irrelevant to you know the needs of the operating system deployed in the cloud. It's a separate thing. Um, right, so I'm in the Azure portal here and if I go down within the Azure portal and go to create a virtual machine here you can see under the image type, which is going to be the operating system, I see a Ubuntu server, which is Linux. And what I want to click on here is see all images or see all the operating system options I have to deploy within Azure. All right, so this is their marketplace. And I'm going to click on the operating system filter here. And all I see is really two high-level operating system, Windows, of course, because it's Microsoft, and then Linux. There is no Mac option within Azure to, to deploy. So Azure doesn't have a Mac option to deploy within their cloud. If I jump across here to Contabo, this one has been a popular choice uh, or option for for the Seafood community um, to look at deploying their light node, especially maybe even the full node. Um, so if I scroll down here at step four here on the image and then look at the OS, you can see here that these are the options that they have within their cloud uh, to deploy you know, an operating system. Linux, Windows, Linux, 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 Linux. There is also not a Mac option um, within Contabo, okay? If I jump across to um, AWS, I'm in the EC2 dashboard here, okay? And I'm gonna click on Launch Instance. In after I click on launch an instance, which is launching a VPC, launching a VM, launching um, your node, I do see that there is a Mac OS option here. Okay, so out of the three ones that I would be looking at, AWS does have a Mac OS option for us. So that is the only one. Now, before we go into looking further into that, I want to take you over to the AWS pricing because in the intro I talked about it costing. Um, it'll cost you. So if I click on, well, if you, if you in within your browser, you bring up calculator.aws, it'll bring you to this page. You want to click over here on the right to create an estimate. Within the search bar, you want to type in dedicate dedicated all right now what that means is the concept of cloud computing and running instances or you know vpcs or nodes is run on shared hardware so if you think of it like a huge server a host that then runs multiple instances of you know, Linux or Windows, or it's it's in this shared shared server. That's what the cloud is. When when we talk about um, you know compute running you know VPCs, the concept of dedicated is the opposite of shared. Right. So 
in cloud providers like AWS, you have dedicated options as well. And for Mac, for running Mac in the cloud on AWS, the only option is to have that dedicated. And what that means as well, even further, is that it has to be a dedicated piece of hardware they call a mini Mac. Um, so once you bring up this, let's click on configure. Okay, the region is fine. Um, the number of instances or hosts is just one for my node. Now I'm gonna click on MAC because I know that is the name of the instance. And I'm gonna pick two here just because I know it's cheaper than one, even though the cores are higher than um, one, but if I click on select Mac 2 here, the system requirements are way higher than what we need for um, our nodes as per the white paper, so that's at least good for that. The pricing model, I'm going to click on compute saving um, versus on demand or pay as you go, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to look at a one year term because that's what I've been doing for my other videos somewhere between, um, you know, paying each month um, versus the three year option, I think is the other one here. So it's in between. Partial upfront, I'm going to do no upfront at all. So just to get that monthly cost. And then I'm going to go and change this to a 500 gig volume because that is what is a requirement in the white paper. So if I look at my estimate here, I can see that there's no upfront costs, but the monthly costs for this dedicated piece of hardware that resides in the cloud is gonna cost me 524 per month versus our AWS Linux shared instance for our node, which is gives us everything we need, which was what, $95, $96, and then Catawba, which you can get it down to like 20, 23, around that number per month. You can see that most people aren't gonna look at this as even an option, um, unless there's some diehard die Mac fans out there that just, you know, really want the, the desktop. Um, so, Really, just in summary at this point, it's like if you want Mac because you just want Mac, the only cloud provider is going to be AWS and the only option in AWS is a dedicated host. And yeah, I'll put them up on the screen now on what these look like so you can see here that um, there are these, you know, physical devices that you can see here called mini max. And then you can also see here, there's the, the actual data centers where all these physical, uh, dedicated mini max reside in AWS. Um, so that's what you're paying the $524 and 50 cents per month for, um, but all right, well, let's go back. If you're still okay with doing that because you love Apple, um, then once you click on EC2 and launch an instance, you, you wanna come down here, you wanna select Mac OS as the option. You're then gonna select either this version of Mac OS or the Big Sur. I'm going to select Big Sur. Um, I'm going to change that to ARM because I know that's a little bit cheaper. And yeah, you can see that that's our Mac 2 that we did through the uh, estimate previously. And that gives us our you know, 16 gig of memory. We're way over what we need for the white paper. That's totally fine. And then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to pick 500 for our storage. And then you're going to launch that instance. I'm actually not going to do it because it's just too much money and I don't want me to forget about this and uh, it run up. But that's how you'd actually deploy it. You'd launch it. And then the end result would be what you're seeing on the screen now. You would have, you would be able to connect 
via, as I said, any other operating system at home on your business, and you would see this mini Mac desktop on your screen. Um, and yeah, that would be what you would see. And then you would deploy the SafeUX software and configure it that way. But yeah, it's gonna cost you 524 per month. So not an option I would be looking at at all. Um, if anyone wants to leave, you know, comments or, or in, you know, some comments below about, you know, Mac and, and different things and whether you'd actually still use that, then, then let me know. But other than that, that's all I had for this video on Mac OS in the cloud for your SafeUX nodes. So until next time, take care. Bye, bye everyone.